Genesis chapter 1, read from verse 1 through 5, then we'll sit down. Genesis chapter 1, where we stand for the reading. Our um, topic today is the God of new beginnings. Tell your neighbor the God of new beginnings. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from darkness, and God called the light day, and darkness he called night, and in the evening and the morning were the first day. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Sit down balandociously on your enemy's head without apology. Turn about the God of new beginnings. Uh, am I talking to somebody here? Scream it well. Um, that God was speaking here prophetically uh, to Moses. You know, Moses is the author of the books and the book of Genesis. And God was speaking to him. And Moses was writing down what God spoke to him. And Moses said, In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Can I say this? Everything that has a beginning has God in it. Don't say God is involved. I'm not hearing you well. I'm not hearing you well. So whatever you have started tonight, whatever it is you have declared, be it your education, be it your life, be it your destiny, God sent me to tell you I'm involved. The first word in Genesis is I and in, and in the Bible, meaning you are included. In the beginning, God. I felt that Moses was speaking and writing according to his capacity of understanding. But can I say this? Before the beginning began, God already existed. And so if God is in the beginning, God had been there before the beginning. Am I talking to somebody here? So before anything starts in your life, God is already there before it starts. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I hate to put it this way, that don't say, and it's because uh, it started, God said, no, before the beginning began, God is already there. So in other words, before anything manifests in your life, God has already manifested with that thing before it started. I want to prophesy to somebody here. Am I talking to somebody here? Because anything you see that was started in your life already have taken place in the realm of the spirit. Oh God. Something is already happening around my life. I thought you were shouting that amen well. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody is carrying the blessings. I say somebody is carrying the blessings. Shout that amen well. So before God said let there be light. God had already started the light in the realm of the spirit. Why I say our God is a God of new beginning. You see, each time you read the book of Genesis, some of you might be tempted to look at it as if that was when God started with the earth. No. And the reason why I said no is because the Bible said the earth was without form and there was void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God was moving upon the face of the earth. So we see a total chaotic situation here and destruction that the spirit of God is trying to re-amend. Am I talking to somebody here? But before I get to that, can I say this to you? Because I'm just trying to pick up some revelations from Genesis to break down for you for your proper understanding. Now hear this. Before God created the dry land which you and I are living in, there was what we call water covering all the face of the earth. And God had to command the water to get aside for dry land to appear. When I begin to study this, God begin to 
speak to me that everything my children ever need is inside them. All you need to do is to discover that it's inside you. So what do I mean is that before there was dry land, before the dry land manifested, already there is already a dry land. God had to ask the water to excuse him for the dry land to manifest. Can I prophesy to somebody here? Whatever you need for your next level is inside you. Am I talking to somebody here? In other words, the water had to give birth to a dry land. Am I prophesying here? The next level of your blessing is inside you. The next level of your glory is inside you. I'm not talking about outside you, inside you. The next level of your dimension on earth is inside you. I prophesy somebody is about to march to the next level. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? You are not what you are seeing here physically. You are what you carry spiritually. Who would have told, who would have said to water, yeah, there's a capacity to produce dry land. Now maybe you don't understand. When God was about to create the greener pasture, what did he do? He spoke to the land. He spoke to the earth to produce. Can I speak to somebody here? Can I speak to somebody? The land was dry until God began to tell the land, do you know you have capacity to produce fresh grass? Do you know do you have capacity to produce fruit? I don't know how barren your land is, but can I prophesy the God of new beginning is about to make your dry land to produce uh, the louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. Your dry land is about to produce. Uh, I see your dry land producing. Uh, the louder the amen, somebody is stepping into a new dimension. Your dry land is about to produce. Uh, am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? So you need a prophet. You need a prophet to speak to your dry land. And as I speak to you right now, am I talking to somebody here? Your land is about to produce herbs of all kind, crops of all kind, fruits of all kind. Wherever is dry in your life, I see others coming out. The louder the amen, the others is coming out. The others is coming out. The others is coming out. I said the others is coming out. Do you know you have the capacity to produce? The capacity to produce, you have it. Look at your neighbor and say, don't look down on me. Am I, am I talking to some? Say, don't look down on me. There is something I carry. The capacity to produce. I'm not hearing you well. Say it again. Now listen to me. Listen to me. God did not ask the dry land to receive seed. No. God asked the dry land to produce. And instantly, trees sprang forth from everywhere. So God began to make my eyes to see divine understanding that there are some of you here, you don't know what you carry. That you have never entered that level of breakthrough does not mean you will not enter. Oh, shit. Am I talking to somebody here? That you have never entered that level. Am I, talking to, am I talking to somebody? There's something you have never experienced that you are about to experience. There is a level you have not entered that you are about to enter. Uh, if you shout it well, somebody is coming out. Shout it well like thunder. Sit down. On the sixth day, God created man. And when God created man, on the seventh day, God rested. When God created the fish, there was no need for rest. When he created the earth, there was no need for rest. But when he created you and I, he rested. When I was told him that God spoke to me, he said, the reason why I could go to rest... It's because 
I kept a man in charge. And so if the man is in charge, why should I walk? Am I talking to somebody here? Some of you here are about to reduce the headache of God. Ah, oh God. Am I talking here? Am I talking to somebody here? To be unproductive is to keep your creator at work. To be productive is to make God to sit down to celebrate you at work. Am I, talk, am I talking to somebody here? I'm not preaching to everybody. I'm not preaching to everybody. The only way a father can have rest is when songs around him are working. If they are not working, the father becomes restless. Oh, you are not getting me. Am I teaching here? God had to go to sit down and rest after he created man. Do you know why? Because dominion has been transferred to man. So if man is in charge, let me sit down and watch man exercise dominion, audacity, crassy. Let me see man exercise the authority I have put on him. Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? Can I speak to mothers here? Can I speak to parents here? Your children are about to give you rest. Huh? Oh God, the ones you brought forth, they are about to give you rest. You will not walk all through your life. Huh? I say you will not walk all through your life. You are about to enter a level in your life where you enter your seventh day because your Adam has manifested. I prophesy, your Adam is about to manifest. Huh? Oh, somebody is not hearing me well. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody is not hearing me well. Your Adam is about to manifest. Every Adam that will make you rest in life, I release them for your life. Your Adam can be our helper. Your Adam can be your helper. Wherever they have shut down your life, I open it up. I prophesy. Wherever they have closed down your destiny, I open it up. Wherever they have closed down your future, I open it up. Every power from the pit of hell that have said you will not rest, I prophesy because God is about to give you your replica. Sit down, let me talk a little bit. When I begin to study, the Bible says, in the image of God, created he them male and female. So Adam was created in the image of God. Simply means he's a replica of God. And so when God replicated himself on earth, there was no need for God to be in charge of the earth. So God rested. Up to today, God is still resting because Joshua Igila is still on earth. Up to to tomorrow god is still resting because god cannot put me here and be at work and that is why when you see the hand of god rising after elijah prayed for three and a half years there was no rain when the hand was about to rise up hear what the messenger came to tell elijah he said i see the hand and the hand is like the hand of a man not the hand of god but like the hand of a man because god has Hand cannot walk until there is a hand of a man. God cannot lift you up without the hand of a man. The devil cannot pull you down without the hand of a man. Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? What will make you enter your day? Your seventh day is about to enter your life. What will make you enter rest is about to enter your life. Am I talking to somebody here? Ladies and gentlemen, when God created the field, he did not rest when God created the rat he did not rest when he created the lion he did not rest but when he created Joshua Igila he said why should I go to walk when there is a man in charge of the walk can I prophesy it is called delegation of responsibility transfer am I talking to somebody here am I talking to somebody here God decentralized the power I prophesy I prophesy because of you, your father and mother will rest. Ah, oh God, am I talking? Because of you, your father and mother will rest. Ah, your mother will say, because of him, I am not suffering. Because of her, I am not suffering. Can I prophesy? It is an error to be alive and your father is restless. Can I prophesy? Am I prophesy? Hey! 
am I talking to somebody here? You are not for decoration. You are not for decoration. Am I talking to somebody here? You are not a figure of decoration. You are not like an animal. You are not like an eater. You are not the sun. You are not the sky. You are not the heavens. Ladies and gentlemen, when God created the heavens, he did not rest. When he created the earth, he did not rest. When he created the sun and the moon, he did not rest. But when he created man, he went to rest. In eternity, God is still resting. Do you know why God is resting? Because the earth is the Lord and his fullness thereof. Who is man that thou art mindful of? Who is man that I have made him a little lower than Elohim? Can I prophesy? Somebody here, your presence will not mean absence. Somebody here, your presence will not mean absence. Hey! 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 There are people that enter your life, you go to rest. Am I teaching here? There are people that enter your life, you go to rest. Am I talking to somebody here? Hey! When God created all the animals and the sun, they were walking endlessly because they were, there was nobody to coordinate. Ah, can I prophesy? Oh, Sapra Kusketeya. Somebody is about to enter your life and you will have financial rest. Uh, uh, you might not like my face, I don't care who you are. But can I prophesy? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, God sent me to tell you somebody is about to enter your life. His name is like Adam. <laughs> as soon as he steps into your life, can I prophesy? You will go to rest. If El Shaddai, Jehovah, the Almighty God, can go to rest because of Adam, how much more your destiny ever? Hey, that man, that woman, huh, that will step into your life and you will cross your hand and will say, Yes, God is in control. I prophesy, you don't have two Adam, but one Adam. Huh? You are about to locate your destiny, Adam. Huh? If the amen is louder, somebody is shouting it. The more you shout it, the more you enter your rest. Financial rest. Spiritual rest. Hey, am I talking to somebody here? Hey, somebody Somebody shot fire. Shot it well. Shot it fire. Hey, am I talking to somebody here? I'm searching for my Adam. <laughs> that Adam that will make you rest. <laughs> am I talking to somebody here? You have done business no way. Am I talking to somebody here? Your seven days about to come. So God begin to make me understand. If I had not created Adam, there would have been no seventh day. It was because Adam came and I decided to rest because he's my replica. Oh God. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Your replica in destiny is about to be released. When the devil is about to destroy you, he will make you see nonsense out of every sense. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, the Bible begins to make us understand, God created them male and female. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God created he, him, male and female. Can you help me with those scriptures please? God created them, Genesis 1, 27. So God created them male and female, Genesis 1, 27. At this level, somebody was asking me, how does Adam look like? Or man look like? Adam 
was a combination of two sexual gender in the realm of the spirit. You are looking at me. You did not hear me well. He was a combination of two sexual. What does it mean? A male and a female in one body. So, I want to believe in the realm of the spirit, Adam did not look like this. But in the physical, he looked like this. Because there were two people in one body, trapped in one body. And God called them male and female. If the female is the direct opposite of the male, uh, so if the male is the replica of God, then who is the female? Because if I bring a woman and a man now to stand here, you will see their futures is completely opposite one another. I'm blowing your mind a little bit now. Let's go into studies. So it simply means in one body, two people that look somehow different were in one body. But they were created in the image of God. So if they were created in the image of God, it simply means God is multidimensional. So don't ask me how Mary conceived. Don't ask me. <laughs> God is multidimensional. So in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, God now formed man out of dust. Now, now, in Genesis 1, 27, the man was created male and female, spiritual. When we hear that word created, it means it was not physical. Now, remember my school of thought, as I was building up this sermon, I said, water first covered the earth before a dry land came. So the water delivered the dry land. And I said, the dry land delivered the greener pasture. And now, hear this now. For man to come out, man was first in the realm of the spirit before man was delivered physically in, in the procedure of formation. So hear this. God took the dust and formed man and then took the created man and put him inside the suitcase of the formed man. So it simply means this suitcase you see can accommodate both male and female. That is what it means. Am I helping you? So this body can accommodate both male and female. So the suitcase. Oh, I don't know what I'm. Am I helping you? Am I helping you? Can I go further? I hope you are not confused. Thank you. So it simply means God took the measurement of man and woman in the realm of the spirit as a spiritual tailor and a potter. Then took the head and everything. And then, because he said they will become one flesh. One flesh. Not two. A division of vision is the problem where there is, where there is a two-dimensional Vision in one body, the body will scatter. That's why God quickly makes haste to make the man head. So that if the woman is in the body, the woman will not cough out of the man. And so, Eve was inside. Of everything God created, all that God created, God saw it was good. Until he came to man. Because the way the man was rotating all over, it was somehow. And God said, it is not good for man to be alone. It was not that man was alone. It was just that man needed a gossip partner. Man could not tap into, ah, uh, oh God. That's why gossip can never die. Oh. Forget it. The greatest people that can gossip in this life is husband and wife. Ha! Ah, the husband and wife. Hey, there's no 
that thing they cannot gossip. They can gossip their children. They can gossip everybody. They can gossip their one-day-old baby. Say, look at how he's crying. Look at how she's crying. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Say, oh, yeah, mwah, mwah, mwah. She's looking for food now. They can, am I talking to somebody here? Adam, I want to believe that as Adam was lying down, Adam will just talk small. If we say, I wish to come out, I wish to come out. I, I'm caged here. I want to find expression. Eve was, I want to believe that Adam was listening to Eve inside the package suit. I don't know if you call Eve, Eve want to come out. Am I talking to somebody? He said, I, allow me to come out of this suitcase to tell you how wonderful I am. Can I go further? <laughs> am I helping you? Then the Bible said, this time, I want to blow your mind again with this. I hope you are ready to hear this one. Somebody shot fire. Somebody shot fire. The Bible says, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam. Genesis 2.21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. Before now, Adam, there is no record anywhere that Adam ever slept or slept. Nothing like that. So God had to force Adam to go and sleep because Adam was a replica of God. So he was neither sleeping nor slumbering. Before now, oh God, am I scattering somebody here? Adam was never sleeping nor slumbering. There was no place that Adam ever slumbered. He was operating in an omniscience and omnipotent dimension because he was a replica of God. And so when God looked at Adam, God said, the only way I can make Adam to sleep is to force him to sleep. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody shot fire. You don't know your capacity. Am I talking to somebody here? Adam's eyes were never closed. The eyes were never abated. But when God looked at it, if it was normal, God would have not caused him or compel him to sleep. Because sleep was abnormal to Adam. Am I helping you? Am I helping you? So we shot fire. Shot fire. This is what most wives don't understand. That the reason why you came into the life of your husband was for him to go to rest. That is the reason. Because God will not do anything until Adam sleep. God will not do anything until Adam sleep. For God to go to rest, Adam have to be at work. For Adam to go to rest, Eve have to be at work. The wife, the woman, is an helper. And can I say this? An helper in the New Testament is an Holy Ghost. He said, even the spirit of truth, whom the world have not known, he shall affect you in all things. So the woman is a sort of an helper to the man, a comforter to the man. So God said to Adam, you have been walking all through your life with a God dimension for me to operate in your life and take you out of this dimension. You have to rest so that the woman that is in your life can help you when you are resting. You are watching me. You've not heard it this way. Is it sinking? Is it sinking? Oh, you're not hearing me. Someone shot fire. Uh, am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? God begin to speak to me. There are certain things that will not come out of your life until you go to sleep. 
There are certain things God will not do for you until you fold your hands and sleep for God to rise up. Am I talking to somebody here? Is somebody hearing me? Is somebody hearing me? When I talk about Eve coming out of Adam, it might not just be Eve alone. There are certain financial dimension that will not come in your life until you step aside for God to step in. There are certain level of breakthrough that you cannot have until you close your eye and wait upon the Lord. As long as you are too active and you are trying to do everything, oh, many science cannot send your helper.